Hee <laughs> hee. Yes. <laughs> the mighty deuce. <laughs> well, my cat Mango is hanging around here somewhere. Uh, he may have gone to grab a snack, but uh, he'll, I'm sure he'll be back. <laughs> and right now, Deuce decides he wants to be a bitey McGee on me. Uh, you sure you don't want the game to be max 5 in case Heist Master joins us later? Um, we would have to restart it for him anyway, so I could modify it then. Fair enough. And my stream is also the up, initial... by the way. Okay, I had that initial thought too, and then I was like, no, oh, we'd have to restart it for him anyway, so, yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start this. So, Bob, it should play a lot like uh, regular designer mode, except that uh, we're all spawned in under the Deepwater Guard faction, so don't spawn anything under Deepwater Guard if you intend to shoot it. Okay. That is cool. a mistake I make very often. Whoops. Yeah, we're also in the, the habit of killing the Is this the, the uh, auto despawning feature? No. We're in the habit of clearing out the starter raft because damage spawns yes. zone in. Uh, should I go ahead and bring one in then for us? Uh, I would yep. say yes. Okay. Oh, uh, where is it? It's not like you to lose that, Dama. I know. Here we go. Uh, strange, I'm getting the same problems yesterday ever in trying to watch my own stream. Really? Yeah. You need to take a moment to tinker with it? If someone else can confirm my stream is up. It's currently up. Can okay. you hear me? Give me a few seconds. Also, what's the balance between it and the background music? Yep, your voice is being recorded. Okay, yeah, so I have got that working compared to yesterday. And... As I said, um, how's the background music? Oh, it's pretty decent. So you need to increase the sound a little bit. Is it a bit Throw quiet? The voices. Wait, the voices? Yeah, the voices are a tad quiet. Uh, that means I need to turn down the music. Um, right, settings. Increase background mixer. Okay, someone else speak, please. Testing, one, two, three. Hello. Testing. Okay. How does that sound look like? Testing one, two, three. No coming? The stream hasn't caught up yet. Oh. Okay. Well, while we're waiting on that, uh, this is the craft that we're going to be working on today. Um, some of you guys who are Heitzmeister subscribers might recognize this little guy. It's his uh, yep, Albatross it Pipe Knight. Is fine. Sound is fine. Thank you, Lil Coming. You may feel free, to, feel free to mute it now. Anyway, uh, um, Go we're ahead. all going to be uh, taking maybe one or two of these and decorating them for the uh, Bread Baron's um, Flying Circus. Uh, I'll go ahead and spawn in a Red Baron so you guys could see. And this guy is essentially going to be the leader of the squadron. got a bit of a beefier engine in it. It's got more weapons. Uh, uh, I just got kicked. Same here. Got kicked? Huh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got kicked, yeah. I just got kicked too. What the shit? Lobby crash. <laughs> okay. I'll restart it then. Uh... Waiting for transfers to finish. Uh. Why are we waiting on transfers to finish? What even is that? 
Basically allows us to transfer between uh, transfer the files videos. between people. Oh, okay. uh, should I just like close the server out and just start a new one? Yes, because I can't yeah. even find, find your server anymore. Okay. All right, it should all be the same as last time. That's your server. All right, let's try this nonsense here again. <laughs> uh, this time I would suggest spawning the Red Baron in first and just see if there was something about that craft that kicked us. Okay. I don't know why, but these keep spawning in with, like, no materials. Anyway, uh, let me get a lair spawned in for you guys. Yep, looks like we're okay. So far, so good. And you... Tell, you spawned that in right above my head as I was coming out of the water. <laughs> Thanks for that. Listening. Oops. I'm, I'm, anyway. <clears throat> I'm, I'm one for um, post-human integration in technology, but that was a bit unexpected. Oh, so Ion's into cyborgs, y'all. Oh, yes. Give me that uh, that hard, shiny well, would you? How would you classify that? Uh, would that be, like, technosexual, or...? You mean technophilia? Yeah, that could work. Yeah, technophilia, yeah. AKA yeah. Cult of Mechanicus. <laughs> yes. No, it's anyway. just, um... I, if you non-sexualize it, then it is one of the versions of transhumanism. Hmm. And I think it's probably one that we're quite like to go down, which is, like, um, the augmentation of our physical form through machinery. And or digital yeah. upload of our quote-unquote souls, or whatever. I'm not quite sure how I would feel about having quote-unquote technology being shoved into me. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm not down with that. It, so, depends, it depends on, it's all down to marketing. <laughs> it's all down to I marketing. Did, did see, <laughs> it is at the end of the day, isn't it? I did see something pop up in my Facebook feed the other day where you know, they have a... A thing that basically makes it to where you don't have to wear a CPAP mask anymore. The way I understand it is um, they put something in your airway to open it up at night and you have this like little remote control that can open and close it. But I don't know how I would feel about putting something inside me to in my... Well, um, the thing is that um, air we've, we've, we've already got um, like prosthetics and things which are already along those lines. Uh -huh. Um my machine interface is something that could greatly advance um, the technical capability of society, as well as potential avenues of, of faster, more thorough learning and stuff like that. Um, if you go down the dystopian route, you've got things like the syndicates, um, which has been a long staple, like, you know, um, control through the implants affecting your worldview. But uh, I could say, hey, I'm going to aggressively integrate you with technology. Ready yourself. Or... I can say, would you like to have an ad blocker fitted to your ears and retina? <laughs> and most people would probably say just, yes, please. So well, you you're, know. you're talking to somebody here who's not even vaccinated, so... Yeah. <laughs> so I'm definitely immune to any kind of advertisements of uh, the uh, benefits of biotechnology. Uh, um, well, you, you see billboards and things all the time. Well, what, yes, if, what, what, what if you had? It's a, what, true that people can be kind of brainwashed, you know. So. Exactly. Yeah. So, what if you had a um, a built-in overlay in your eyes that replaced all those ads you don't want to see with cute kitten pictures? Well, you know, you have to have a piece of metal in my brain to do that. Not really. That, I, I, that, I, I can simply not watch ads, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, avoiding ads is a different matter entirely than so just not watching them. <laughs> yeah. Then there's also the people out there that uh, are exactly keen of, you know, 
Let's not watch something I don't want to see. Who will go out of the way just to pick a fight with that person? I'm probably not going to do anything too crazy with mine. Um, I had this idea that I would try to paint it like a tiger last night. I think that'll look very interesting. So we're all going to spawn in our um, our own versions and, and you know, work on decorations? Yes, uh, you can modify the weapons if you want to, uh, just so as long as you maintain about 80 to 90 percent of the craft's original look. Okay, cool. Also, for those of you guys who are watching, uh, Heitzmeister may be showing up here later to join us. I believe he stepped away for a little bit to make his dinner. Yep, that's what he said. That's a bachelor living for you. have any trouble trying to find out where the um, decorations are anchored let me know <coughs> huh okay Oh, they, well, the wings actually full of jet engines, and there's like a mimic go, uh, covering it over. Yeah. You'll probably see a few of those. Uh, I was trying to make them look like they were just uh, regular biplanes. Okay, that's kind of annoying, but I guess I'll make do. I want to make uh, one small functional change here, which is uh, when it's in the water, the balloons aren't actually getting it out of the water. Uh, so I'm uh, trying to put a, a balloon in the nose to uh, to assist with that. I believe the original one did have a balloon in the nose. If that makes you feel any better. Okay, cool. It's looks like you've doubled up on decorations by accident, Emma. Uh, I did copy and paste a few, so that might be the case. Sorry about that. Well, actually, I'm looking at the thing, and it's, um, it's saying there's no decoration there, so it's, yeah, that's good. Oh, no, that's a mimic block, that's why. 
Uh, yeah, Heitzmeister has some mimics in there. Well, you had a, a decoration and a mimic doing the same thing. You know, for some crazy reason, I, I have this old habit of... ...using, um... Control X whenever I go to use a mimic, just out of habit. Oh gosh, where the hell is the tether point for the silly thing? There we go. Okay. So, Bob, have you done any decoration work? Uh, very little. I mean, I, I, I. Uh, got into mimics far enough to, to say, oh, that's how that works. But uh, I, I, my own decorate, my own uh, crafts are, are very much undecorated. It's very, 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 very sort of blunt and to the point. They usually, usually, usually look like big boxes. Oh, well, we all go through the boxy period. Nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> yep. Some people never get out of it. Oddly enough. The Borgo Grace example. Yes. I was actually you know, watching a little bit of uh, Discovery and um, Picard last night. Is okay as long as you're not one of those foaming at the mouth Star Trek fanatics. Oh my goodness. Bob, you sound like you know what I'm talking about. Yep, I do. Have you watched it at all? Which 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 one? Either. Either you mean, mean original series, Next Generation, Voyager? Uh, oh, you talk about the new one. I have yes. not watched that because I don't have any streaming services. Okay. Yeah, I believe uh, Paramount has them all up there now. Yeah, Why I don't have any more fuel tanks. Because until a few days ago, that was just in another world for me. You know, I had uh, used that satellite internet, and that was a little better than dial-up. Hmm. It seems that these just barely have enough fuel. Seemed like I was doing okay in my testing, though. Hmm, okay. Oh, yeah, you guys might need to add a fuel tank. Possibly. Uh, maybe just because I had it. Um, being held. I don't know. It's just doing weird crap. So, you guys gonna make any changes to the weapons? Figure I might try, but I wasn't sure about you other guys. Uh, I'm, I'm just basically uh, figuring out how to, to make this extra balloon look a little bit less crappy. Okay. And I'm currently doing decoration work. I'm just modding the wings, honestly. Uh, I'm still making my flying tiger, and it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had to make that joke. If you called it a tiger, yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> so. It's the eye of the tiger, Ryan. By the way, if you guys want to add any decals to these, um, you can post those in the on the Discord. I believe I have a room for that. Yes, holograms. In case that's something you might want to try.
This thing seems damned and determined to go nose down in the water. What'd you do to it? Uh, I, oh, no, here, here it goes. We got it. It does have more thrusters on the upper wing than the lower wing. Alright, let me ditch it again and see what it does. Okay, that's much better. See if I can put a mimic there to kind of cover up some of that ugliness. Just weird. Does this feel a bit like decorating Easter eggs? <laughs> <laughs> we just need the I mean, that would colors. be about the time of year, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So I need to find a decal real quick. You build the entire missile system backwards, and you're just now realizing. Yeah, that could be a little frustrating. What the hell am I thinking? Of? There's a way easier way I could be doing this.
Okay, you may change, wind up changing up uh, how I've uh, covered the uh, the extra balloons here, um, but I just put a this uh, radiator um, mesh on there and uh, kind of squash it down. It looks okay. Sure, it'll be fine. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. And I have returned. Hello! Hey! Welcome hey. back. Welcome. Uh, shall we restart for uh, Heightsmeister here? Alright, I'm all saved up. Are you up. ready to join Heightsmeister? Um, yes, in... A few seconds. Oh, I see your tiger. That's cool. Yep. we go. So you good to go? Yes, I'm good to go. All right, one moment, please. Um, Just trying to get to a good stopping point. Everyone save your vehicles. Yep, I did. Uh, give me a few seconds. I'm still doing some decoration work. Just dressing color. Okay. Yep, All right. Saved. Dave. All right. And we are dropping out now. Uh, looks like Viz came to visit. How you doing, Viz? All right. So I'm gonna bump this up to five. Uh, <clears throat> all the login stuff is the same as always, Heistmeister. Holler if you need anything to get in. Uh, this says, don't forget to put in interrupter gear, you might have problems. Yeah, thankfully that's not a problem in FTD, depending on how you place the deadly blades. No, I mean, um, the aircraft has got to get lighter uh, as the flight goes on, so if you cut down the propeller blades, that's all good. Hmm. Alright, starting uh -huh. right now. Ablative propulsion. Ablative okay. propulsion, yes. I guess that's one way you could describe it, yes. Can we bolt some solid booster rockets onto these things? <laughs> that would be pretty cool, honestly, if that were a thing in FTD. Yeah, that would actually be pretty interesting. It reminds me of hey, um, hey, Door Monsters play, uh, Kerbal. KSP? Yeah, that reminds me of Door Monsters KSP sketches. I'm pretty sure Ion's played some KSP. Yes, I have. All right, if one of you guys mind axing the uh, starting fortress there, Listening. I'd appreciate it. <coughs> Receiving. And I'll just bring my plane back in. My flying tiger, which, by the way, is the name of an actual squadron in World War II, fighting the Japanese for the Chinese, if I recall correctly. That's correct. <clears throat> uh, 
And they actually had slightly uh, obsolete planes, but uh, very good pilots. Uh, they were fighting with Warhawks, were they not? Thank you, Lokai. Uh, no, no. yeah, Curtis something, I forget. Pretty sure I copied it into the correct folder. Um, are you looking for your own copy of the um, thing? Yeah. Then I can send you a copy if you need it. Or one better, we can just spawn them one in here and he could use that. True that. Why is this changing color? Okay, which one should I use? That's why I changed the name on mine, so it would be easy to tell it apart. Oh, there we go. I guess this one just, just spawned. Uh, there has been a little variation of the rules while you're away. Uh, if you want to make changes to the weapon system in yours, uh, as long as you keep it within about 80-90% of the original look of the plane, that's completely fine. Okay. Uh, let me just spawn in the correct... Uh Aircraft. And let's have a look and see what the other planes look like. Bob, is yours the one with the yellow wing uh -huh. tops here? Yep. Okay. Yep. And you it you see over, over here, um, uh, I put in uh, two balloons and then kind of covered it over with this grate so, uh, so it has a little bit of a time uh, getting out of the water. Okay. Uh, just a heads up, Heitzmeister, I did accidentally double up some of the um, the decorations, so yeah, just something to be aware of. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Hope you but... find the upgrades to your liking. They pretty good so far. So I am allowed to change the weapon systems then? Uh, yes. Like I said, as long as they stay within about 80-90% of the original look of the plane, I can live with that. Hello, Ice Master. Wait, what? Hello? We're in the same plane. <laughs> oh, we're in the same plane. Um, <laughs> what? Let me just... Uh, there we go. I'm on uh, my plane now. So, who's the one that's uh, increasing the wing size? That was me. Okay. So I think that's mine. We're, I'm really close to the one that's next to me. Ooh, look, Hari. I like what you're doing here. Let me move this over. How'd you get that serrated blade look on it? Decorations. Lots and lots of them, I'm guessing. Yes. They look very good, by the way. Uh, I am... Oh, never mind. Yep. Never mind. I was going to offer to move your plane a little farther from Lokari's there. Is there an easy way to um, uh, see where the mimic mimics are located? Because I don't usually normally use them a lot. Well, I'm glad you asked. Um... Can you pull up my stream real quick so I can show you how to do it? Okay. Let me know when it's up. Uh, Viz is asking, was he talking about putting Jados on the planes? I believe he was, yes. Alright, you watching it, Bob? Uh, I'm just bringing it up now, hold on. Okay. 
Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Um, Ruiv lol, <laughs> welcome to the, my stream. Um, make one for the Ukraine, they don't have them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually decorating mine for uh, yellow and blue. <laughs> oh, alright then. Alright, I still have it painted in my faction colors. Yep. Oh. I see. You about there, Bob? Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, so the way you can uh, pull up to see where the uh, mimics and decorations are, you hit Shift P. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, and you'll see these little rotating diamonds. The blue ones, oh, okay. those are the decorations, and the yellow ones, those are the mimics. Okay, so it's E and then one, two, uh, you see, it's e. shift P. P is in uh, oh, Paul. Shift P, okay. You hit okay. that seven times, and it will uh, show you where they are all tethered to. Okay, cool. And then you just hit X, or I'm sorry, Control X on whichever one that you want to modify, and uh, do whatever with it. Uh, okay. With the mimic box, you have to use Q, but that's, yeah. Okay, cool. Answer your question? That answers my question. All right, cool. Um, just want to say that in response to um, what um, Ruivlo said on my stream. Um, mad props to Ukraine for how well they're resisting so far. Yep. Yeah. They are stubborn buggers. Yeah, damn it. So where are the thing finish? Stubbornness. Who's finished? No, so were the Finnish. As in, no, the Finns? I know, I was just war. trying to make a very bad pun. That's all. Okay, the mimics are Q and the dec decorations are which? The decorations you have to use. Yes, yeah, thank you, Lokari. So, I'm just having a puck around in Ion's here. If that's okay with you, Ion. Uh, sure, what you're up to in there. I'm just looking to see what you're doing with it. You sounded like you wanted to tinker around with the weapons a bit, so I was curious of what you were going to do with it. Uh, what's the R rate of fire on the original ones? Uh, they are... Uh, it's about... 640, 650, so give or take. 647. Uh, you could... You could check uh, mine. I haven't messed with the guns on mine. Yeah, I just I just glanced at yours. Yeah, six forty seven. Six, yeah, six forty seven point five. Mm. It looks like you're trading up for bigger guns. It looks like Ooh, um, sixty mil. I modified the shell a little bit and also jumped the caliber up to forty millimeter. Ooh. So I'm just um, doing a comparison amount to decide if I want to try and do that or not. Um, drop it back down in caliber. No, I'm not. It, though, I'm not the, got the biggest guns here. I was about to say, are we about to get into a pissing contest here? Yeah. So, so the other guys are putting bigger cannons than mine on. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. 120 millimeter. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's completely I mean, fine if you want to up that a bit. It just um, with the 20 millimeter that seemed like the best. Uh, that I've been able to develop so far to get a real Egg. high rate of fire. Actually, um, I'm going only, to change that. Yours only does 49 damage per shot, actually, Dana. I know. But I was trying to recreate the look and feel of machine guns. And I put uh, some green tracers on the back of them. But uh, we could probably do like a little bit of a skirmish here to see... Um, which one of these does better? That that could actually be fun. A heights waster, what are you modifying on yours, sir? I think I saw some bigger barrels on it. Yes, that is correct. I'm surprised at how much extra engine power I was able to squeeze out of this after I made some modifications. But I think I'm going to. Uh... Yes. Um. Not. 
I'm not going to install bigger barrels on this one. Oh, okay. Not necessarily. Okay. I hate this visual part of the long stretch barrel, to be honest. That is extremely annoying, yes. Uh, Bob, would it help at all if uh, we brought your plane into where it stays stationary? Or are you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay. fine. I'm, I'm not even. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done the, the flight testing part of it, so so if it, you want to dock it, that's absolutely great. So you do want us to dock it? Sure. Okay. I'll set you one up here. And there you are. All right, thank you, sir. Is there a way to pull the plane out of play? Not that I'm aware of, but uh, something you could do is just do a quick save on it, uh, destroy the one you're working on, and spawn a new one in. Okay. That's how I'd well, go about it anyway. This visual bug is really off-putting. It can be, yes, if it's the one I, I think you're describing. Yeah, perfect. That idea worked. Thank you. Is so anyone going to be doing, like, dumb fire rockets? I am. Okay. Uh, what kind are you going to go with, Lokari? Number explosion. Are you going to do, like, mediums or small or small. what do you have in mind? Okay. I think I might just spawn in a new one of these, see if I can't rework it into like a torpedo bomber. That'd be cool. Oh, now we're going places. If you guys are going to be doing missiles, um, identify friend or foe is not going to be a thing in this campaign. That's probably there's probably no point to it if you're going to do dumb fire, but just let you guys should know. Oh, because um, there are yeah. only dumb fire missiles in this campaign. Yes. Is that yeah? Okay, that's correct. Then. That's just to try to discourage people from wanting to use guided missiles in general. And yeah, it's going to make torpedoes like hit everything out there, but what's it going to do? I mean, that happens in real life too, getting friendly not fire from torpedoes, so... Yeah, not necessarily. Dump fire torpedoes, on, at least on turrets, are not as bad as you might think. Yes, but I can't get them to work from a, um, a plane is the problem. That's the only reason why I'm allowing for... Um, Sonar guidance on torpedoes. You can do it with a one turn. I tried it. 
Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to bust burst your bubble there. No, my bubble bubble has been burst. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, the torpedoes, uh, I forget what they call the Mark something, some, uh, Mark 14. America, the, yeah, the Mark 14s in America, and, um, uh, they were, they were turning around and hitting their own subs quite a lot during the beginning of the war. That's funny. I mean, it sucks if you're in a submarine, but It sucks that's... if it's you. Do what? I say it sucks if it's you. Oh, yeah. It, it can ruin your whole day. Not to mention your life. <laughs> yeah, and the Bureau, Bureau was just, just adamant that it wasn't their torpedoes. Hmm. Until it turned out, it was their torpedoes. Until it turns out that it was. <laughs> Must have been quite a shock. I need a pin on this, probably not. Don't need that many fins either. Uh, I will turn one of you guys then into a ballast tank. And. Fuel tank. Oh. Do I really need a fuel tank on that shorter range? Maybe. Oh, um. Are these planes going to be built by an AI faction? Um, actually, they're just kind of all going to spawn in together from a, an airfield. Okay, okay, so they're not going to be a buildable unit. Uh, no, they're going to spawn into the game uh, pre-built, for lack of a better term, I guess. Okay, that clears things up. Thank you. You're welcome. Otherwise, I would have reduced the material storage on this one significantly. Since um, it actually uh, adds to the initial build cost. Y'all were saying that the uh, the fuel level, the fuel tank storage was a little bit uh, less than probably optimal. Yeah, that's something I noticed too. But it seemed like it cleared up uh, after a bit. I think it's just doing some wonky things because it was um, uh, not a tractor beam. Okay. It seemed like it cleared up after a few moments for me. So. But uh, if you want to try to squeeze a fuel tank in there to try to correct it, I'll be my guess. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Do I, I think I do want to try that.
<laughs> I think I've built something rather interesting. Uh, at least I'm talking about the APS weapon system. Okay. Someone is firing missiles. Not yeah. intentionally. No, then never mind. Not me. No, that's that's me. I'm trying to put some uh, missile launchers in the upper wings for this thing. I haven't had much luck so far. Damn it. Damn it, what? Ah, uh, never mind. I'm just experimenting a bit. No, it happened again. It's a lot of experimenting in college. Okay. <laughs> uh, Good one. Ah, uh, stop firing. You don't need to fire. That's what my wife calls me whenever she's annoyed with me. Turkey. Turkey. I love how Heismeister has a chain gun on his. It's, yeah. uh, it's not a chain gun. It's more like a, almost more like a shotgun, honestly. Exactly. Ah. Oh, it needs to reload first. Oops. I've installed a shotgun on an airplane. I see nothing wrong with this. Don't you mean technically a polygon? A, a polygon? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh, Demma, am I allowed to install a breadboard here? Sure. Okay. What do you have in mind? Um, um, custom air combat routine for the AI. Sure, I'll allow it. Although, it's really simple. <clears throat> well, heck, how do I change this? There's a, there's like a, um, uh, a three inch metal th uh, uh, mimic or decoration in the back. I can't seem to find where the uh, thing it's is. It's actually mounted, modified. Um, it's mounted a block deeper into the wing. Oh, okay. Uh, if you need me to help you find it, I can definitely do that here in a moment. Okay. It's the uh, blue and white one. Right. Uh, you said you're looking for a, a yeah, there's decoration. Yeah, like uh, uh, there's either a mimic or a decoration um, uh, in the back. Uh, oh, I guess it actually doesn't matter because it doesn't show. All right, never, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't show. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll holler if you need anything else. Okay, thanks. Oh no, I'll take it back, that show. Uh, could you There's put right something I... next to it so I could see which one you're talking about? Okay. Just like put a block like right next to it. 
Okay, and do you need that uh, placed or removed, or what do you uh, need done? There's a, a metal texture uh, right between these two, right between these two tail fins here. Uh, and I, need to, I, I just had that painted white. Okay, uh, I think I know which one you're talking about. It's um, it's covering up a jet thr thruster. Is that the one you're talking uh, about? Let me see. Yeah, it is uh, actually covering up a jet, jet engine. Yeah, uh, the decoration is right on top of that block. Okay. Yeah, it's occupying the same space. Okay. Oh, is it target time already? Yeah, that's... I've not even begun doing any uh, no, I'm visual. No, I'm just this is my target, if oh. it's also in front not. Okay. Also, try to figure out why the plane is not trying to dip down and attack the target. Yeah, that could be important. Okay, fixed. Why are there blocks falling off the other one? Uh, the what? Who the hell knows? Actually, I think I'm just going to... Oh my god, I don't even know which one this is. Oh, I think I know why. What's going on? It's, it's getting hit by its own missile system. Are you using a uh, guidance system? Are them not my plane. The other plane is currently on a pack run. Okay. Uh, that might be mine. a lot of deck. Nothing bad. I just uh, took a bit of damage on mine when I was trying to mess with some things. Uh, and I don't know which one of these is mine, oddly enough. That's kind of a problem I'm having here. And for some reason, these rockets keep wanting to fire at all kinds of crazy angles. Ah, let's see here, core. Seems insta repair is not a thing in this. No, nope. many designer nope. features are not functional. So, 
I'm just going to put God Mode on all these planes because I don't know which one is mine. You didn't rename yours? I tried. Oh. Hold on. That's under the V menu, is it not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, um, mine's just been dubbed A type. So. Okay. Yeah, mine keeps blowing up for some goddamn reason or another. <laughs> I renamed mine, so if you see the word hawk, that's actually mine. Why is this thing rolling so much? That's part of my problem. For some reason, it doesn't want to attack. What you mean? I don't know. It's pitching down. Uh, one of the Mirage was dead due to this effect took too much damage. Uh, you it could put like I don't have on those. elevator in authority. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. Not enough. Did I fudge something? No, no. It's alright. I, I did something uh, that... Alright, uh, all the decoration is done, now let's see if it still works. That's the fun part of any build right there. <laughs> yep. It's like, hmm, how badly did I screw this up? Let's find out. <laughs> well, I'm messing anything up if I've, if I've loaded a Marauder or will it attack that, that thing? Is there a Marauder, marauder out that it'll, that it will attack? Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you need to uh, grab more marauders, uh, just be sure you turned off the weapon systems. Okay, that did not work as I wanted at all. Oh, come on, guy, attack! Stop being a coward. Oh, I, uh, because I have control over the weapon, that's why. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's We've why all been whenever there. I do gun tests, I always keep it on none. Let's try it that way. even fire that time. Because I believe they are AI dead. Oh. Oh, someone would put some more test subjects out there. We need a new Marauder. Um, maybe just leave it on God Mode this time. Or maybe even like a Crossbones. Something kind of beefy. But I think I'll go ahead and spawn one in. I just grab it. Uh... Shoot, did I just spawn it in on the wrong team? 
Yes, yes, you did. I could have sworn I had that changed to um someone else. Okay, let's try this shit again. Yeah, I told it to spawn on the Onyx watch. We are the Onyx. Wait, better. No, we're, oh, we're we are the deep water guard. Yeah, we're deep guard. Yeah. Well, I'll put on white flares to see if that works. There we go. All right, let's try that. I turned off its weapon systems, by the way. Ooh, I like that color, Ion. Does it actually show my colors? No, I don't think it is. It's showing the default colors of those slots. Yeah. Why derp? What'd you derp? <laughs> I was going, why are these blues not turning off when I reach altitude? I was like, oh, can I even put a control control box in there to do that? <laughs> that is what I derped. Oh, okay. And why are we not dropping the torpedo? Oh, nearly had a mid-air collision. Oh, that green one looks looking nice. Yeah, that's ions. Oh, good job. Come on, drop that torpedo. There we go. <laughs> That's funny, it dropped the torpedo just a little bit late, but I was able to circle around and hit the other side. Drop his bomb. Yes, that would probably help if I did it that way. Where's that uh, option? Drop us bomb. What about it? Where is it? Okay. Um, I know it's in the missile UI. Uh, hold on. Let me bring it up. Uh. Wait, no, never mind. Considering using the four missile, missile gantry, that won't actually work. Oh, okay. The cylinder has a problem? Are we overheating somehow? For some reason, my aircraft is not wanting to use its uh, ailerons. Ah.
I mean, it's pretty cool watching all these planes like dive on the uh, <laughs> diving on the crossbones there. Got no aileron control, unfortunately. How'd you do that? I have no idea. Somehow it doesn't want to control the ailerons at all. Rip them out and replace them with just jet thrusters. I think there might be no spare engine power to do some of that. Or just replace them entirely, that might help. I've done so. Uh, maybe it's just bugged? Uh, I don't... I don't think so, no. Hmm. I was gonna say, this is a... I uh, almost said that it's still early access, but that's not necessarily true anymore. Don't think it is, no. It does seem to think it is. Mm hmm. There we go, the plane's now diving. I just see what I believe is Heistmeisters, just a shotgun barrage. That sounds like it is, yeah. Yeah, from very far away. Uh... There we go. Hey, the one. Where is aileron control? Custom flight surfaces work. That sucks. Oh, uh, do you guys have ailerons in your aircraft? Yes. yes. I'm not okay. having any problem with them, This says you guys should build some units just to be dummy targets to test your weapons on. Why do that? We have a crossbones. It's not an awful idea, honestly. Just something to be a punching bag. I think is what he's at. Or what they're after. This is so confusing. I have no idea why this isn't working. Oh, damn it. I can't even get to uh, uh, change the visual appearance of this one now. Is there anything that I can do? Uh, I don't know. On a second, I'm going to save it and have a look at it in the vehicle designer and single player, maybe. Okay. See if there's any issue. Mines are kosher, right? Magnets are, are kosher. 
Yes, right? maglets are fine. Okay. Thank you for asking. Uh, this says, and you wouldn't need to disable the weapons every time you spawn one in. Yeah, you do make a good point there, Viz. Question, who's doing EMP damage? Um, not me. Could be me, yeah, because my uh, mines have an EMP. Um, d doesn't this thing have no EMP weaponry? Yeah, there is. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Easily changed. Sorry, I should have mentioned that uh, from the start. I, I, I just do that so automatically that, uh, that you know, I just you know, put it in there without thinking. Uh, I get it. No, EMP is very good on missiles, and just about everyone does it, so I can't say I blame you there. Okay, I'll explosive now. Uh, did you go with the large... I'm sorry, not the large, but did you go with the medium, or did you go with the, um, smalls? Medium. Okay. I'll be right back, just in the okay. designer for a few seconds. Okay. Call her when you're in, come back in. Looks a little derpy, but functional. Yeah, that's 90% of FTD right there. Well, that's weird. Here in the designer, uh -oh. the ailerons function perfectly. Multiplayer the player shenanigans? I have to assume so, yes. Nick, fix your shit. Uh, no. No what? No. Just no. Ah, uh, it's doing weird stuff again. My aircraft is doing weird stuff. It's not from you putting a breadboard in it, is it? I have not put a breadboard in it yet. Oh, okay. I mean, breadboard might as well be Greek to me, so... Yeah, there's sometime maybe off camera might try to throw together some kind of a punching bag target. Uh, I actually like using the crossbones for a few different reasons though. Um, first being it's just a really good target to test the uh, armor piercing high explosives on because you get a lot of good block confetti off of it. So it kind of makes it fun to shoot at. It's completely broken now. It simply does not want to cooperate. That son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> I have to fix it in designer really quick. Well, take your time. We're in no rush. Now what? be cool if I ever do like a World War II version of this campaign could do like the Black Sheep Squadron. Yeah it would. Yeah. 
Yeah, World War II in general, in general is just full of possibilities. Yeah, but I can only get a decoration of the gun sight. Okay, I guess that's painted in the correct color then. I have no idea if I actually those ailerons upside down or anything. Actually, no, it doesn't say that I have, so something Crazy. is extremely unusual here. And yes, I've remembered to enable mirror mode and all that. I can live with this uh, arrangement. Okay. I think the AI is completely broken on this one. I have no idea what's happening right now. Uh, uh, you could just try copy and pasting the the AI settings from the original one into it. I've had to do that a few times on some other things. Deep st uh, yeah, it keeps doing completely random stuff. Like, uh, control surface inputs going all over the place. Uh, this sucks. It's no fun getting the oddball one. This only happens as soon as an enemy spawns, by the way. Hello, when the planes decide to almost ram each other, and one just goes straight up and straight back down to the target. Uh huh. It says that they made target blocks with nukes just for the testing tanks. Hmm. Well, you would know for sure if you hit. Yeah, I think that was the point of it. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Why would you look at that? It flies stable now. Somehow. What'd you do? Yeah, that's a good question. I, and as soon as an, I spawn in an enemy, it goes completely berserk. Yeah. These didn't have breadboard on them to begin with, did they? 
No, they don't, I think. Okay. Let me just have a look at this. Now, I don't. I had a breadboard on there, but I've removed it. Long ago. Yeah, I thought you did too. I didn't see a breadboard in there, so I assumed you ripped it out for, for the version that you gave me. Gonna restart FTD now. Okay. Yeah, Viz said that's definitely the idea. Okay. Reminds me, I have not painted the Don't you just hate it when nothing works? Well, yeah, why do you think 2019 was so frustrating? <laughs> I, I could uh, actually name a few reasons. No, I think 2021 20, would be more frustrating than 2019. Uh, well, I was referring to the state of FTD development more than anything, but... I was... well, okay, I was going to refer to, to the state of the world. Yeah, it's just really been getting progressively worse and more oh, crazy. Man. I just want 2010 back. <laughs> That's bad, you know, we just say, uh, I'm kind of nostalgic for 2020. Okay. Nope. It's completely broken. Completely That's snapped, it. Though, huh? Bye bye, AI. You have failed me for the last time. Let's have a quick peek and see what everyone else is doing here. Uh, Bob's still. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to get a mimic for something to cover up the, the guts of this uh, missile launcher. Uh, the one I use the most is uh, small boilers, but you might have to increase the size of them just a little bit. Yeah, okay. The way, uh, magnet kind of got stuck on the, the back of your plane here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it, yeah. Oh, that's not good. Let me save it real quick. I don't know if this would help all at any, but maybe you could put the... what are they called? The... It shook off that time. I was going to say you could try... You know, I was going to put the injectors. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I put injectors on, but it, but it, uh, but it, they spread out too much. I wanted to keep uh -huh. it kind of tighter. Uh, let's have a look-see down here. Actually, if you want in the bottom, it's a pretty well-armored area. You could just have it uh, drop from the bottom of the plane instead. You'd probably be able to yeah, okay. drop them a little quicker. You want, I could uh, rip a hole up for you to put it in. Yeah, okay. You got about uh, three cubic meters to work with, so I think you should be able to make pretty good use of that. Directly below the, um, the radiators. Okay, cool. You see it? Yep, I see it. Okay. Yeah, try sticking them uh, in there. Okay. See if that helps you at all. Uh, I'll have a look at uh, Ion's plane here if I can. See how it's coming. I really like the paint job on this Ion. 
again, uh, what you're seeing is what not what I'm seeing. So. <laughs> uh, it's like a pea green for me. Yeah, I can see it on your stream. And these are okay. So you would know with the uh, unguided rockets, I see. They seem to be supposed to warhead. Okay, doing a very good job missing. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, let me have a look at your settings here. You... And the hit rate isn't very stellar on them, depending on your target. So they seem to be doing worse than everyone else's, but I think that might be because they are actually short-range boosters rather than very. No, no, you actually want the short-range boosters. Uh, it. Um... I've seen some of the other planes are firing. Um... Not using those. There we go. I fixed it. What was go going on with it? Um, I uh, recited the catechism of AI on fuckery. I don't okay. Know. I have no idea what I did, <laughs> and honestly, uh, so bad. Yeah, I don't know why, but it seems like uh, Ion's rockets, they keep wanting to aim for the top of the superstructure. Yeah, they do. So they just well, keep missing. They're, they're aiming for that rather than the center of the mass, it feels like. Uh, something you could try doing is putting in a aim point selection card in there. I don't know if you'll have the room to do it. I've not but setting it for actually. clusters of blocks, uh, that would uh, that'd probably help you a bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can do that. I just have a quick poke around in here. Uh, you might have room for it. Yeah, uh, that's actually where I was about to suggest you put it. What did they say about great mines? Yeah, they're a bunch of crazy motherfuckers. True. Uh, Heitzmeister, should we try to get you back in here? That would be much appreciated uh, in just a second. I can see if I... I mean... I accounted for some multiplayer shenanigans, but I did not account for the absolute state of FTD AI. Yeah, FTD AI is weird. Yeah. The, the rockets went in and then pulled up right before they hit. What? That is weird. Um, um, I think you might be firing before you go into your dive. No, I am firing after I go into my dive. Okay, I'm ready to go back in. Okay. Alright, everyone. Sorry to, uh... Planes, please. Hang on, please. Sorry yeah, I see that. Such, I such what problems. What going on with your rockets? My rockets are not being very rocket-like. I think they're on the wrong setting. Um... Okay, saved. Uh, let me make sure I got both of mine saved. Uh, yeah, mine yes. saved. Okay, uh... Yeah, mine's safe. But yeah, well, what I'm seeing is the rockets are flying out, and as bad as they hit the target, they put melee pull up. Yeah. Okay. It's like they're trying to see skim for some reason, but I've turned those settings off, so... Ah. <laughs> uh, like, uh, says hi, by the way. Uh, tell him we said hello. Okay, tell uh, go ahead it. and hop back in whenever you're ready, Heitzmeister, and we'll restart the server. This has actually been a fun little project. Um, wait, what was that about the project? I said this is <laughs> not been him. a fun little project, but yeah, <laughs> oh. yours, you, okay. you've had more of an ordeal than a project, I think. Um, I might have to restart because, oh, never mind. I don't see the difference. Ordeals are a bit more. Dramatic, oh. I guess. Would that be a good okay. way to describe it? Yes, it would. That would be a perfect way to describe it. 
let me bring in a platform back in. I'll bring another layer in for you guys. Hi, Ice Master. Hi. I'm on my plane. No, I'm on my plane. Oh, Ion's plane changed uh, colors here, it looks like. It's all black now with some, uh, looks like some tan highlights. And Lil Kari, uh, he is currently uh, uh, swimming back up to the surface. Yes. Just yell cab so I can get you out of there. I'm actually um, hoping to see the plane rise out of the surface, it's just not just cap the slot yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Thought it was being helpful. You were! Just... One I'll be right back. One way. Okay, bub. Oh, so that's why this wasn't working. Uh, the reason? Um, yeah, the reason is I have blocked some jets and uh, I have given the AI contradictory orders. Is that what was going on with that shit? Yes, 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 I figured it out now. And uh, I've learned from this mistake. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing, Heightsmash, you're the one that's working in with the uh, dual rudders on the tail? Yeah, that's okay. fine. What have you done with it so far, if you don't mind my asking? Uh, added shotguns. Oh, okay. Five barrel? Uh, I guess I could let it slide. Um, are there kind of rules against shotguns? Um, usually APS, uh, I, I'm cool with it being, you know, like, twin barrel, uh, but, uh, I think I can make an exception because these are gonna be, like, boss planes. Oh, okay. If not, then I could always reduce this to a twin barrel shotgun. Nah, uh, you're fine. Okay, thanks. Like I said, these are special, so they, they get a pass on a few things. I really like the look of this. Do we have a Marauder? Uh, we could bring one in if you would like, yes. Yes, please, so I can test this little uh, abomination here. Alright. I'll go ahead and turn off their weapons. Should I put God Mode on either one of them? So, uh... Yeah, probably the best. Okay, I'll put God Mode on the one with no damage. By the way, uh, whoever's using red tracers, you want might want to switch those to green. Hey, well, I'm just trying to figure out which color is fleet color and which ones are not. Is there my fleet colors haven't changed in a while? Uh, everything there, I believe, is fleet colors, Lokari. What are your fleet colors, by the way? Right now, trying to figure out which is fleet colors or not, it's basically a bright purple. And Heitzmeister's plane just took a swan dive. Yeah, I have not added any uh... balloons or any balloons. Generally, my fleet colors are black and red, usually dollar colors. Okay. Uh, Ion, did changing uh, the engine configuration mess with your heat dissipation at all? Doesn't seem like it. Well, Ion's doing about 90 centimeters per second. And he upped his APS to 40 millimeter. Very nice. 
Uh, question on your missiles, Ion. Do you have them set to fire only at ground targets, or do you have them set to go for everything? Ion? Hello, I had my microphone uses. Okay. Eh. Uh, right. Um. I guess oh, the first thing is, I, I told you my colors here. were different. Um. The missiles, they are currently just firing at anything because I'm not really prioritizing against um, ground or whatever. Okay. I. Uh, yeah, they really don't do that well against air targets. Uh, probably about anything that goes over 15, 20 meters a second, honestly. Yeah, so I'd say, like, um, modify that. Uh, Lokari, were you asking something just a moment ago? I found where the mimic block was on the plane. Okay. Like usually I set the dumb fire rockets to fire at a target within like maybe five to seven hundred meters in a max height of uh, 20 meters. That's usually the settings I go with on them. If that helps anyone. Alright, I'm gonna have to steal a couple of these ideas here. On um, my uh I'm guessing the sawtooths? Yes, that is actually pretty badass. Yeah, you can see what I did. Wedge blocks. A lot of them. Actually, and not a lot of them. Two wedges, three blocks. Okay. Excuse me. Is this going to be the final paint scheme that you end up with, or are you still working on it? Final oh, paint scheme. Okay. Uh, you got some blocks to the tail that still needs some paint. That's why I was asking. No, they're painted. Really? Okay. Yeah. Remember, I'm using uh, my fleet colors to find out where the blocks I need to paint are. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Uh, Heistmeister, could you use a lift? Yes, um, the water start AI is actually completely useless. Since all the time, um, it doesn't cut off the engine anymore. Which was a feature back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks like you're about to go back into the drink there, dude. Yeah, I have no idea what it's doing right now. I can't get it to fly, sorry. Hey, you're fine. Oh, looked like you got it there. Well, it's not attacking anymore, for some reason. I was thinking maybe the next time we do one of these streams, um... Would we like to try working on a air battleship for the Gothic Reich? What do you guys think? Yes. Yes. Good idea. Could do that. It'd probably be a Cram APS hybrid. Okay, um, I'm back. Welcome back, Bob. Uh, we were talking about possibly uh, next time we do one of these FTD streams, could do like a, the uh, early start work on a battle airship for the Gothic Reich, which is the uh, German faction uh -huh. in uh, Dominion of Dama. Uh, you'd be welcome to join us on it, of very course. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Clint, welcome to Diamond Street. Hey, he's been there for a little bit. Take a look at what everyone else is doing here. Yeah, I've been hopping around seeing what's going on. Oh wait, Dama. If you come up yes. to where my plane is, you will notice that the propeller is slightly off to the right. Now why would you do a silly thing like that? 
For some reason, it actually fixed my not be able to dive problem. Well, don't ask me how. It's crazy, but it works. Yeah, I like in the pork tail hype. Oh, thanks. I uh, thought I'd do something different. Okay, now to fix the roll. I didn't realize everything in those colors look together. So, what are you talking about? I recently, I very recently changed my fleet colors to help me, well, paint my airplane. And I went with a green, white, and a sharp, very violet purple. Yeah. Maybe lavender to be more precise. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, while you guys are working on that, I'm just going to put a separate boulder in here for the... Um... What are we going to call this? Oh, yeah. The Flying Circus. Um... Yes, I am. I'm just looking at... There seems to be some bots posting links in my screen chat for some reason. Well, those little bastards. Yeah, and the <laughs> thing is I can't actually check it directly because I can't access my stream directly. Because YouTube is... <laughs> yeah, just like, alt-tab out? I, I can tab out, yeah, but the problem is I can't access directly through through browser, so... Oh, uh, okay. That's yeah, where, the, like that's where the error keeps popping up. Yeah, very nice paint job, Demo. I like, I like the eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I may have a video playback, I but apparently I can actually get the stream chat up. So, yeah. Don't know if that's working or not, but it's kind of weird. I feel like my rockets are being more accurate nowadays. Maybe just restarting the server helped? No, I've, I've monkeyed with some settings since then. Okay, what'd you do? Um, I told them instead of like trying to follow um, direction of weapons, which might be why they were pulling up, because the plane that fired them pulled up. Um, instead of just follow the direction of the actual rocket itself. Oh, that doesn't look good, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I see. But yeah, I uh, should have pulled up there. Now the rockets go in the direction of the rocket itself, so Good. they aren't trying to pull up or anything silly like that at the last second. Very good. But yeah, getting this thing actually to fly properly is a bit of a hassle. That's just the nature of planes in FTD, I'm afraid. Uh, I'll probably just this. Uh, wait. Is there something to repair this one on the uh, platform? So that's where you had the ammo on this damn thing. Okay. Did not know that. I feel like my rockets might be blowing themselves up a little bit. A... Stagger fire might help with that just a uh, little bit. Huh. Well, that's one of the things I've done that is um, I don't actually have a stagger fire installed. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact it looks like I've got a stagger fire, I actually don't. Uh, uh, so, Bob, I got a question. How you doing? What? I'm pretty good. <laughs> uh, seems to have, 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 have made love with some other someone else's uh, airplane. Oh, I didn't the, is that why one of my wings is damaged? Yeah, let me see if I can get us loose here. I just went to look at my plane and it's like, wait a second, one of the wings is like <laughs> <laughs> I totally didn't notice until you said something. I didn't notice either until I have to look over like, uh, that's <laughs> alright. <laughs> yeah, missing a few bits and pieces. 
<laughs> and here's the funny thing. We were still flying. That's the impressive part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, according to this, though, Dammer, um, my plane tops out in 92 meters per second. Uh, Clint says it is Barney's scheme. Uh, not quite sure what he's referring to there. No, Ice Master, that is a pretty terrifying ordeal just to see that happen in front of you. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. trying to install. I'm in trying to install another one of these blast guns, but apparently I cannot. Huh. Oh yeah, what are the rules on repair units and things? I would be fine with maybe one or two repair bots since these are probably going to be like game units. Right. And uh, tentacles? Maybe like just one repaired tentacle would probably be alright. Yeah, I'm just wondering if you had a rule on that, because... yeah. I'm sure you're fine. Well, I just installed one of each into my plane, so... Yeah, that's fine. I think patch it up after it gets damaged. Oh, something hit me. Maybe, maybe myself. Quite possibly. I'm uh, adding some... Uh, trim and gold plating to mine. I think I want to give it like a pimp mobile look. Yes. Maybe I should up these to medium rockets. Or just, or just switch them to kinetic rockets. Uh, do you have a rule on frag rockets? No, nope, I was actually about to suggest that to you and then I got distracted. Alright, um, it's not as easy to apply a general change like that to this design, I must admit. Because each, each rocket pod has got its own setting for thruster activation. Let me guess, you went through them one by one to put a bit of a delay on them? Yeah, that's why it looks like it's qualifying, but it's actually not. Awesome. Uh, one thing that I do sometimes is... Um, if I don't have enough room for something like that, I... Try to offset them by... I, what the hell is that feature called? You mean synchronization? No, not synchronization. Um, I changed the wrap-up time for each individual uh, weapon. All right. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, the easiest thing would honestly just to be to install a stagger fire and unify the rockets. Probably, yeah. I was just trying to be che cheeky a little bit. That's fine. Uh, what about uh, ion engines? Uh, and engines are no go, I'm afraid. Okay. Right. Thank you for asking, though. No, I'm in delay. Uh, okay. Don't really care about that. Okay, what's the stagger set to? Function and decoration. Alright, will it unload all of these? Haste. Oh, we'll give it a good go. Jeez. Let's paste that. Left and right positioning. Okay, note to self, these revolving blast guns are heavy. Meanwhile, I'm putting gold-plated rims on my biplane. 
I oh, got her priorities after all. Gone into aesthetics just yet. I wanna yeah, I'm trying to go for like a bit of a pimp mobile look for this thing. I think I accomplished it. I feel like I should add go faster stripes. Definitely. Yeah, that couldn't hurt. There we go, that might be right now. Yes, that works. Yes, I think Snoop Dogg would definitely enjoy this plane. <laughs> Is he still around? Snoop yes. Dogg? Oh. I'll call it the IB Pimpin. Well, let's have a quick look at Bob's. If I can select it. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to lower the wheels a little bit so that the uh, the mines hanging down doesn't look quite so uh, pendulous. Okay. So you just have an ACB that, that tells it to drop those? Yep, yep. Okay. Probably be cheaper than a local weapons controller anyway. Yeah. And it'll be this job. Oh, that's, what, that's what I always use for mines. Okay. Oh well. Flame decals it is. Uh, by the way, Bob, your um, repair tentacle back here, it's covering up a thruster. Oh, okay. Yeah, just thought you'd want to know. Yep. Let's have a quick peek at Lokari's here. Very stylish Lokari. And I noticed something about the main guns of this. The connection rules don't really like them. Main guns? Yeah. That's a bit of a problem I, uh, I admit. Yeah, I keep seeing something popping up, saying something about, um, something not working right. Uh, let's see here, Clint says purple, and Clint saying, are you missing the fog seeping out of the window? You make a very good point there, Clint. I might have to try to see if I could do something about that. Uh, this says, didn't someone take a picture of him smoking weed at the Super Bowl? I wouldn't be surprised at that, Vince. I mean, that wouldn't be nothing new. Uh, yeah, let's see if I could hide a smoke generator somewhere in this thing. Oh yeah, that's it! Uh, control smoke generators with ACPs that um, basically emit flame when the plane is sufficiently damaged. Yes, uh, Ma Deuce has actually been experimenting with that a bit. I've, I've seen that in uh, J-Doc's campaign. Mm -hmm. I've been loving it so far. Actually... I could put it right about there, I think. Let's 
just go ahead and make it purple, and it'd be like, you never know it was there. All right. Now she's smoking a bit. Weed. And we'll just save that back over. There we go. Let's see here. We got one, two. How many did we end up making of these today? Three, four, five. So for the rest of the flying circus, we need two more. Well, I'm not even finished yet. I know, right? I'm just trying to think of what I'd like to do for another one. Actually, I just remembered something. Yeah, you guys probably remember this guy. <laughs> What does it say? It says fuck you, you fucking fuck. <laughs> My, how opinionate. I know, right? That's why, sir, I'm surprised you don't remember this thing. I do. Oh, okay. You had me worried for a moment. I could probably just change out the missiles in this to dump fires and probably color it good, honestly. Where the hell is this mimic placed? Ugh. Oh, there we go. There we go. I added Go Faster Stripes to my plane. Very Always nice. Important. <laughs> uh. I mean, if I want this to be uh, three times as fast, I would paint it red. But that would be unfair. Because the red ones go faster. Well... Yes. Yes, they do. Twister, did you just never put a IFF in these? Oh well. Let's see here. Right. 
Um, Demma, do you have the simple weapon mod installed? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, that makes things easier then. I guess that was actually at Mardus's behest. Uh, Clint's asking, did he use all... Or did he use the all-in-one that has one already in it? Are we talking about the marijuana smoke, or well, what are we talking about here? <coughs> oh, I see. So cram cannons aren't allowed. Um, when I search reading for specifics on something, Heitzmeister? Uh, one moment. Please, I might have figured out now. Okay. I was gonna say, if you're going over the rules, I could probably uh, help with that a bit. Ah, so there was one in here. Okay, well, we could tear that shit out. Okay. Yeah, uh, never mind. I, I, I figured it out. Okay. Gotta admit, though, the all one local web controller has been kind of nice. Makes armoring things a little bit easier as well. Mines are right next to the Marauder and just decided to turn around and head the other direction. Let's get disconnected. Well, that would do it. Okay. Um, you may want to turn down the strength on your mind, because they're now dancing around. <laughs> what are they doing? They're basically trying to get an airplane. <laughs> water, so I've seen this happen a few times, yeah. <laughs> well, they would be hit. I have seen uh, bombs that hit my own airplanes before. First time doing one. Yep, I've seen that shit happen too. Uh, do I have room for more of these silly things? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll turn it down to 150.
Why is it yours that always deals with the collision damage? <laughs> What's with all the black smoke? Uh, yes, you are right, Clint. It is very nice not needing those extra blocks. Well, at least it makes it obvious which one's mine. Yeah, um... What's the black smoke supposed to be coming from? Is that intentional, or just... Yeah, it's just exhaust. Okay. Interesting. Alright. How well do the are the uh, auto cannons working for you? I mean, I thought auto cannons with the APS. Uh, the APS seems to be doing okay. Okay. Never, not really had any problems except that they are still colored red for me for some reason, even though I said it's a green. Okay. So I think it's just like one of those things that needs to um, possibly either a reload in the vehicle or just a restart of the server. It's no biggie though. Uh, the rocket pods are working okay, so I've just been kind of tinkering with the decoration a little bit. I'm having to grab a couple of uh, decorations off the Tiger one. Mostly the landing gear. Now where's the fifty? By the way, the uh, name of this plane is "fuck you" in German. Can confirm. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, you guys will know which you know, member of the flying circus has the uh, attitude problem. <laughs> getting a bit of lag. Uh, really? At least not that I could tell. Mm, yeah, not as far as I know. Nope. Nope. Uh, All things considered, it's been running pretty smoothly for me. But yeah, water start does not work with this configuration. Um, if you have engines on the upper wings I'm getting a little bit of I managed to process. make it work but I have uh, uh, hydroplanes down by the wheels and then at that it kind of struggles but it, it will we'll get out of the water yeah, yeah my game is stuttering a little bit And I added uh, two extra balloons as well at the nose. Uh, Clint's asking for the ropes that hold uh, the uh, the best flag ever. I could probably do something on. Not that I'm thinking about it. Thank you for pointing that out, Clint. Let's see here. Forward, backwards. 
scaling. I imagine this is kind of what you had in mind, Clint. In real life, this would cause all kinds of drag problems, but thankfully, this is from the depths. Yeah, my frame drops are getting worse quite quickly. Uh, should we restart? You think that might help? Um, I'm wondering if it might be that. Do you remember that old simple weapons bug? Um, you mean the. Um, what's it called? Memory uh, leak. Yeah, I keep dropping into degraded mode. That's no good. How did my plane crash? And then it, it moves for three to five seconds, then it hangs, then it goes up, starts moving again. Would it help if that we just restarted camera. the server then? So what did you say, Heismeister? Uh I think that's something to do with the ne network. Hmm. Something's happening. I was going to say, do we want to try restarting the server, see if that helps you, Ion? Yeah. If that's okay... Uh, yeah, everyone, uh, sure you save your work here? I'm also, yeah, we probably need to restart this game as well, because, uh, if there's a problem with that mod, it's probably a problem with his, his computer and his game. Uh, don't actually have any mods active. I don't think any of these planes are using the more simple weapons. Nope. At least not that I know of. Mine uh, is, and it's just for a tail gunner. Oh, um, okay. So we restarting? Just need to save my plane real quick. Okay. That looks like Bob went and added some smoke deployers too. Uh -huh. Yeah. Everyone's leaving smoke trails now. Yep. Uh, not me. Not me. Because I'm constantly going to the water. Point where it's really frustrating. Um, yeah, Clint's saying on your chat, Jammer, that my stream is lagging. Um, okay. Clint, that's... The frame drops is not... Not sure if that's a stream, but that's actually happening on my system. So that's why I, I was speaking up about it. Hmm. I am a little bit concerned. I would be too. Uh, maybe just take like maybe a five ten minute break for you to restart your system. Um, would I'm, that help at all? The, the thing is, I've not had any stream notifications saying that frames are being lost by my, my broadcasting software. That's weird. So it's definitely FTD that's having the problem. Okay. Would restarting the Whoa. game help you at all then? Probably. Okay. Well, um, if you want to go ahead and do that, go ahead and get that started and uh, we'll bring you back in once you're ready. Sound good? Yep. Leaving now. Okay. It'd be nice if I could actually see my stream. I still don't know why I can't. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. So that leaves us still with one more plane to do for the Flying Circus. We got the oh. Pet Mobile one, we got the Fuck You one, we got the Tiger one, we got... Okay, 